Hey, it's Regita. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Lovely to see you all again and connect with you in this beautiful community, especially for Twin Flames, to give you some relief, to give you some education, to give you some information that will assist you on your journey. Uh, if you haven't commented, please comment below. Subscribe if you haven't so you get all the latest content on Twin Flames. Uh, tonight, the topic that I really wanted to bring in for you is if your twin hasn't done the work and I would say isn't clean it's an energetic cleanliness not a physical cleanliness if your twin haven't hasn't done their work and they haven't haven't come into right relationship with you and been honest with you I personally don't su suggest interaction because sometimes what they do especially the spiritual twin that's doing all the work and harmonizing their soul and showing up for their own growth, the matrix twin will come in and take energy from you. If, if, because what they do, they're happy to get a hit. Remember, twin flames are like a cocaine. They are the highest form of love. They are a connection of the divine. They are in line with the oneness of our creator. So when the twin misses the spiritual twin and they're not clean, they'll do a luring, what I call it's like a luring, to bring you back in, take an energetic hit from you and leave again. My personal opinion, I'm sure there are others out there and you're very welcome to comment below so we can create a portal here to assist other twins. My personal opinion is stay away. Don't let them get any of your energy, particularly if you are clean and you're doing your energetic hygiene, you're showing up for your soul mission, you're doing your divine destiny work, you are working on the self, you're loving the self, you're harmonizing your soul, you're working with your yin yang and you're flourishing, why would you allow them to come in and contaminate you? The, 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 the essence of this, and they do love you, but they, they're loving you from the ego when they come in and want to take energy from you. It's not from their spirit. Their spirit and their soul eternally loves you. Their spirit and their soul is always with you. It's a 3D requiring an energetic hit because they haven't done the work, because they're not clean. So they'll be drawn to you. Don't think that that's them coming back for full union. It usually doesn't last. And you'll know because not long after the connection, very quickly, the fusion of repulsion begins and the separation begins again. It is needed. The separation is needed. So what we call the threading and weaving. But you will know. You'll know when it's a threading and weaving from the soul and when it's an ego need of attachment to get an energetic hit. Begin to discern. Is it an energetic hit when they're not clean and haven't done the work? Or is it a genuine threading and weaving of the soul to bring the two energies together to harmonize and see where they're at in their evolution? That one I really wanted to hone in. And you know how you'll know? Before they meet you, you'll get some instinct in your body. You'll, you'll get a red flag. You'll, you'll get an instinct. You will just say, oh my God, I knew it. You will know. You will get a knowing, a deep knowing because they're one and the same. Sit in silence. Take a deep breath. Check in. Is this them coming in for the soul to thread or is this coming in to get an energetic hit? If it's an energetic hit, no permission. All you've got to say is if you do not come with unconditional love and truth, you have no permission to be in my field. Be strong. Hold the light. Work with you, thread your own inner masculine and feminine. Do not let them in if they're not clean and haven't done their work.